back adventurers. I'm an adventurer like you and I'm playing Crusader Kings 3. We're continuing the grand run to the end of an era if um, technological circumstances allow it because yesterday we had a bit of a problem with the stream. I hope uh, today will be better. Some beautiful music by the Windswept from the YouTube collection. Okay, um, which also means we don't have the CK3 music, we should fix that. Okay, uh, the other thing I fixed yesterday after the stream is uh, the fact that we are over the limit. Well, I didn't fix it completely, but almost. So this notification here says we are above the vessel limit. We had like more than 20 direct vessels above our vessel limit. And um, I reduced that to two. And that means we no longer have a like 80% or more uh, reduction in our armies, our levies especially. So that brings us back to our basically full power right and uh, now we have a big empire now the only problem is that uh, the base game doesn't recognize uh, other christian faiths as having constantinople as a holy city and you have to be orthodox or start an orthodox heresy so yeah that's a bit of a problem with our capital this one i mean why can't you just show me what i want this the Hagia Sophia is disabled which is a pity because it has some pretty good bonuses Yeah, uh, the faith of the Holy must consider this a holy site. We wish we could choose to consider it a holy site because now that it's our capital, of course, it is the holiest of holy sites. But that's not the mechanic that the game allows. There is a mod which fixes that, but of course, using mods would mean not getting achievements. So there's that problem. Oh yeah, so this is not a holy site for our faith, which is a heresy of the Catholic faith. Now, we could fix this, potentially, by converting to orthodoxy, and then later uh, make our own faith as a heresy of orthodoxy. That could work, and then we would have the orthodox holy sites, which would include Constantinople. And then we would lose uh, Canterbury and Santiago, I suppose. Yeah, what are the holy sites of orthodoxy? Exactly, in the game. Yeah, Jerusalem goes to Rome, Alexandria, Antioch. So we would lose all the western ones except Rome. Uh, we wouldn't mind that too much. But, yeah. Maybe uh, a future character that's really into learning and can uh, rake up the piety to do that would be possible. Yeah, okay. I have a delivery, just give me a moment.
All right, here we are again. Ah, music, yes. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, about the holy sites. So, yeah, maybe we could in the future do a quick conversion to orthodoxy and then start our own uh, heresy from that. I still have a bit of a cold, my nose is bothering me. Um, music. Okay, we still have uh, achievements available. Okay. Um, I want to quickly get some music back in here. Yeah. It's pretty low, I know, but yeah. So that it's not too overpowered. We have a dangerous faction as well. So yes, um, I what I did for the vassals basically I looked for any counts that I could like move to a duke, or if there was a group of counts that had, didn't have the duchy, I would elevate one of them to be the duke of the rest of them. That way, uh, I got rid of a lot of these direct vassals. Um, if there were any dukes that I could move to a king that already existed, I didn't want to establish any new kingdoms, but yes. So moving that around uh, is a bit tedious, but it can be done. And that solves most of our problem. If you saw yesterday, we had down to 13,000 troops. That was very dangerous with these factions not liking us because we're of the wrong faith or yeah so we have two more that are over the limit but it's not um not bringing us down too much and we probably can solve a lot of that our main problem now is here in uh, the greek part of our empire we have some vassals that are really displeased um, because they are orthodox, right? And we are the new ruler. So all these people are, yeah, well, she is in prison, so that, that helps. Um, yeah, I, I moved some under Armenia, actually, and he is... Uh, He's quite pleased with that. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try, for example, to move Streamon under Thessaloniki and elevate him to a king. But I don't want Orthodox kings. That's just asking for trouble. Although he is actually um, somehow unable he is forbidden to join factions until 1201, so we have a bit of a spite for a few years to um, do what we need to do. But yes, we have this Liberty faction, once the lower crown authority has a lot of members. Um, that's probably gonna fire and we'll probably just say, okay, we'll lower crown authority. It's not the end of the world. And it helps a lot with our vassals. This, though, this is something to keep an eye on. This faction wants to put one of my brothers, half-brothers, onto the throne. So yeah, that is a bit of a problem, but they're still not strong enough. But if they gain a few more um, faction members, that could become a problem. The others, mm, not really, not really. Okay, so this is our empire. And uh, of course, yeah, we have our eyes here on Antiochia and uh, Jerusalem, basically. Now, you, court chaplain, Alexandria is a war fist. Then why did it say it was not? Um, 
I think we should ask these um, Greek kings and so on to convert, and if they don't, to depose them. The only problem is some of them will be very powerful and it will be quite a big fight if they all uh, group together. What is the... might accept 16%. Yeah, he would probably ask... Or she... no, he would ask for a... Um, a favor. A favor hook, that is. And that's not something we can do, because these guys usually use that to weasel their way into the castle, and they just don't have the skills for that. So there is that problem. Uh, we're focused on diplomacy. Yeah, we should get this befriend one ASAP. That will help a lot. That will help a lot. Um, yeah, let it run, I guess. Because I don't think any of these Orthodox vessels are willing to accept. She's plus 12, actually. 53%. We can try. You're in prison. Uh, but she's powerful. So first of all, he's in the least prison. We'll accept. Okay. And I will send her a gift. Sorry for keeping you in my prison for so long. But I just have to make sure we won't rebel. Um, this. Five. Can I bribe you? 45 opinion, that's not enough. You... You kind of like me. If I bribe you... Mine accept, good. Paflavonia. Hmm... Hellas, minus 63, I don't think we can uh, bribe our way out of that. Epirus, mm, we have a chance. We have a chance. And this, Sicily is already on our side. spend too much I need to get keep some reserves just in case I am going to wage war oh 
Okay, let's see this round. How that goes. The floor is white, we know. Okay, this is um, the Duke of Armenia. Armenia Core, I guess. Armenia Core or something. Not exactly sure how it is in Greek. Aegean Islands converted. And uh, Armenia. And uh, Haldia. Great. Nice. Pandalian of Epiros. And this guy, Kilikia, actually wants. If you were, were were to help pay for these efforts, okay, anything for the faith, 300 gold. I think that's worth it. Blessed be God. Yes. All right. And a faction tar targeting us has disbanded. This to install my half brother on the throne. Okay, that's good. And a new faction is created to install my half brother on the Bohemian throne. Oh, really? That's what you want now? Discontent. Two weeks to send ultimatum. Yes. And you? You ungrateful bitch. Alright. Um, that's already quite a bit so we actually have uh, wolfers to rulers in most of this part now um, you should see here other vassals who are not wolfists that's quite a few 290 of them but not all of them are direct vassals are they yeah, and um, we should probably rank them by opinion of us. Yeah, counts and mayors we cannot really care about. Duchess of Consino Salerno is under Hellas. She might actually want to. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem very likely. Uh, in the house. Yeah, he is under King of Georgia. Was very low. That's okay. We definitely need some that are in the positive. And only this counters is the rest is in the negative. Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work for us. Let's go by rank and see who might be willing. High ranking. Yeah, this guy is a problem. Is a duke, yeah. I was looking at him, wasn't I? Didn't I ask him? Hmm. Send him a gift. Send him a gift. And demand his conversion. Maybe. I invite you to a feast at my court in Marash. Who are you? You're just a count. No, I have more important matters to attend to. And he decided to follow us. Blessed be God. Okay, great. And he immediately got himself a secondary spouse, or even though he has great pox. Uh, feast? No thanks. I'm not going to a feast with somebody who has great pox. Okay, what else do we have here? Too few spouses. Yeah, I know that. Um, I wanted someone with high learning, right? And I also want her to 
come of age. So I'll wait a few years and I'll get my final spouse. We can negotiate alliances. Well, these are very low. Except she. She holds the Vatican. Uh huh. Um, and she is the daughter of um, King Stein of Romania. And my future sister in law. I'm not sure if that's that's gonna do us any good. Except we can assist her if she gets attacked, but it's I don't think so. Okay. Prisoners can be ransomed. Pandoleon of Tripolitania. Um, not for 50, no, but if you convert, claims on Ephesus, no, I don't care about it, and a weak hook maybe, then he doesn't like me, yeah. um, Just to be sure. And we have another account. Ah, oh, that's the account of Tivoli. Yes. Um, no. No. You stay. I probably should have you convert culture in, in Constantinople now. Well, Tivoli is next to Rome, right? Mm. And you should start converting the peoples. Yeah, let's start with Constantinople. Byzantion. All right, here we go. You have a lot of conversion to do. Yeah. What, 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 what? No. No. That's what I was saying. He became a court chaplain. Really? With great pokes. No? Why is he still there? Then? Huh? Did I read that wrong? Demand council position. <laughs> Greetings, my serene liege. Henceforth, naturally, this writes your debt to me. No, no. First of all, learn how to write a proper letter, and you don't get to make demands. You just don't. So now he is in this position. No, he's not. Well, that must have been a bug.
that must have been bad. Okay. I still have all my good people on the council. Um, do I ha even have? I don't have a group. Okay. Yeah, this, this is not okay. Not okay. And we do not have a hook. We can't fabricate a hook, probably. Don't have that perk. And Sophie comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. And we sent this daughter to the university, right? So she became um, Midas touched. Very good at stewardship. They sure grow fast. Yes. Look at that. Lovely. And uh, she's betrothed with Prince Arathos of Bavaria. Mm, that's okay, I guess. We should probably um, appoint him as uh, Chancellor next. <laughs> Prepare him for his uh, job when he becomes the Emperor. Alright. Yes, you two. What? He's, oh, he's 17. He is of age. Yeah, yeah. So you two can get married. Fine. That is fine. Okay, great. King Dao is swayed. I continue my efforts. Is that really necessary? No, it's not. Kaiserin exposes scheme. I claim the throne of you scheme. Um, somebody is trying to claim my throne. Okay. And the kingdom of Bohemia. You are in that. Yeah, that's not okay. The claimant is my half brother. Yeah, they're just doing that too. <laughs> Fight me, whatever. You. Yeah, you're pretty banged up. And the thing is, you seem to have a lot of allies. Croatian Orthodox populist is also very big. Oh, it's, good. it's these people. Yeah. This could become a problem too. We will need to fight them. The Duke of Dubrovnik and the Duke of Tunis. Really? If we send you a gift, would you convert? You might accept. If you promise to support me in whatever way I need, the journey would be an easier one. And he gets a weak hook? No way! I will not bargain for your soul. In fact, I will imprison you for that. Or revoke your title. Revoke title, Duchy of Tunis. Might accept. Hmm. Hmm. In prison, 
Might succeed. Okay, let's try and imprison him. And then this guy, Dubrovnik. Okay. Well, if the other guy is in prison, then this already falls apart, right? Liberty faction. That will fire. No doubt. Um, this one is a bit of a problem, too. Although we... He is King of Navarra. He's not very strong. He would get the Kingdom of Bohemia, which is a title we hold. Um... Right? But most of this is uh, somebody else's. We have the Dutch of Bohemia is his, right? So we wouldn't mind that too much. I, would, I guess it would give him a bit more power, but it's not the end of the world. The great duelist, my vassal Jukipatius, has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and fear in his eyes. He tells me that my son and heir Waldemar has been challenging people to duels all over Tunis. Ah, good for you. Please forgive me, my lord, but this has to stop. Waldemar turned up at my doorstep and challenged me. I had no choice but to accept. This is not the first time either. I am but the last in a long line of victims. He isn't even that good. Um, these duels will cease at once. A uh, dangerous pastime. You need an instructor. Uh huh. Or your father will show you how it's done. No. Um, you need an instructor. Yes. As per my orders, Jukipatis is now to be confined to his home. I post some of my guards to ensure he's compliant with his house arrest. A uh, good. And a, uh, that faction has disbanded. Another cousin slain in battle. Yes. Good going, son. Yes. Okay, what is this? Liberty demand. It is time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals. Accept the demands of the Liberty faction. Only six to lower crown authority. Or face our swords. I guess I have no choice. Okay, so now we have a lower um, crown authority. We're at three. Right? And not absolute crown authority. We would have to wait 20 years for that. That does mean we have some fewer levies. But again, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so this, this is going to fire. I'm not going to fight this 208%. That means they have a lot of power. Unless... I can imprison him, but that's unlikely. Okay. You can ask him to convert, it just might work, probably won't. I might accept. He's gonna ask for something in return. That for sure. My faith is too strong. Oh, he's zealous. I shouldn't even have asked. You will pay the price in this world. Okay, so now I have a reason to imprison him. It might succeed, or he will rise up in rebellion. 59% chance. I think we should risk it. He will rise up in rebellion anyway, at a given time. Well, this one we don't care too much about, actually. Mm. Mm. That's the only one, yeah. I 
What's this? Deserted halls. Since she is greedy, she might just ask for money. If you promise to support me in whatever way I need and give you a weak hook, no way. Although for her to be our marshal isn't the end of the world. Thirty months left here. Yeah. Child of my dynasty. My daughter Sophie has given birth to a daughter. Since the little one is part of the Dwarf Dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name, Wilhelmina. Um This is um his first child. It's my first grandchild. I think um uh, Lidwin is a good Dutch name. Beatrice. Yes. I guess. Fenner. Let's do Fenner. Okay. And we have another unproposed alliance. With some nobody who is a vassal in Khorasan over here. Hey, Jose, her Jose, rush, uh, yeah, primogeniture. Um, oh, yeah, we are in 1200 now. Good, we can do that. Um, this guy is basically a nobody. Why is why does he even think we would want an alliance with him? Decline. No way. Okay, so it is now the year 1200. We can not enter the late medieval era. Four years. Why? We are like the most developed culture on the face of uh, this earth. Okay, four more years. We have to wait. And how is the stream quality? So far, no dropped frames. Okay, so we're doing good. Don't know what it was yesterday. It was awful. <clears throat> okay, we have uh, some money. We have uh, only a few holdings. And uh, we can't invest in anything yet. Right, we're fully done with these. Yeah, once this goes to three, then we're done here as well. Yeah. I really hope in a future version of the game they will make it possible to do something about this. I mean, we have a Christian faith if we move our capital here, obviously that's important to us. It, we should be able to assign it as a holy site to our faith. King Ioannikius has become your marshal. He cannot be fired. Well, he's 24 in uh, marshal, so that's not too bad. But he is orthodox, and we really don't like that. I guess I have no choice. What? Oh, no, it's also this. Okay, yeah. Um, king Sterkov can become king of Bohemia. That is okay. For now. And my wife got pregnant. 
Hmm. Okay. And the faction is disbanded. Yes, of course, because they got what they wanted. And we can unlock a perk. Let's do befriend. Befriend will help us a lot. Um, and what is this? I cannot stand this imprisonment any longer. Um, I don't want your money. I want your allegiance. So what I want is your... What claims do you have? Oh, we don't care about that. Gain a weak hook and demand conversion. That's what we want. No war. No. Um, because I was waiting uh, for a possible war against us by our Greek new Greek vassals. Okay. We have so far been able to avoid that. Um, there is an independence faction in the west. Okay. That is not so good. But these independents, Bulgarian Orthodox Populists, yeah, so a lot of these Orthodox Greeks and other peoples around here, they want independence. So I'm guessing I'll have to fight this war. I need to do something about him. Yeah, he is the single most powerful vessel that's making trouble. And then this guy can join factions again in a year. So that will also be a problem. And him. Yeah, all these other dukes as well. So, um, we don't have anybody. Oh, wait, we just got a granddaughter, right? But I'm sure he wouldn't want to arrange that. He will not accept. Minus 16 only, though. That's not too bad. If we can sway him. But that's not going to happen in time. It's not going to happen in time. This is going to fire in about nine months. And they have a lot of power. Right. Now... She is betrothed already. She isn't. If I would... Well, he wouldn't accept me because they're orthodox. They wouldn't accept... To become like wife number three or four. So yeah, that's basically what I've been waiting for and trying to avoid to get a huge uprising of my eastern vassals and if they do that they might see their chance as well to go against me that is easier to deal with Right, we could. No, not me. Okay. Because he's already betrothed. But yeah, we could arrange something with these peeps to get them off our back.
Use that hook you have won to educate the grandson of the duke in your religion and culture. The hook that I won on what duke again? Um, this one. Hmm. So that is him, his heir is him, and his heir is this boy. Okay, and he's still orthodox. Good call. Um, he wants stewardship or learning. Stewardship, probably. Okay. We could do that. But is he important enough? Our daughter, Sophie. We can't use the hook. Because it's not his son, I guess. Maybe this one? He doesn't have any children. Force Alliance? Hmm. That's a good one. Alliance with him. He's not terribly powerful, but yeah, it would prevent him from joining any uh, Ricard. It would be here on the diplomacy, right? <laughs> Why can't we force an alliance? Because he's a vassal? No. So what we can do is if he's naughty, we can uh, imp use our hook to imprison him again. Uh, hopefully that won't be necessary. Yeah, now what we really need is a hook on this guy. <laughs> Five percent chance of killing him. Okay. Um not seeing what else we can do. Buffering, buffering, buffering. Is it that time again? Yes, we're getting drop frames. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why? Why? <clears throat> that is very sad. That is very sad. Um, I don't know what's happening. 
two days ago it was fine, and yesterday it suddenly started doing this crap. Okay, um... Well, it's about time for me to take a break anyway. So, um... I'm gonna take a quick break and see if things improve. <laughs> 